recording. Okay, so we're back for round five, and that is what the doctor ordered there. The nice thing about Dismember is, like, this just, it makes your hand much more explosive. All right, we're we playing against Burned. Confirmed. My opponent sees a Death Shadow and probably gets sad. All right, so we're going to get an Overgrown Tomb, and I'm going to Inquisition my opponent. This Dismember is probably not going to get cast this game. I don't think Disdainful Stroke or Ceremonious Rejection are very good at the moment. Each one of them are only good against Eldrazi Tron, which isn't a huge part of the format, not like it was three months ago. I just don't think it's where you want to be. I do like my burn matchup. I think that burn... So the big thing about the... I think it's close. I think Death Shadow's favored. I think what messes with... Um, people get confused about how Death Shadow versus Burn works. And what's weird is that... Um, gosh, I can't... The games aren't close. I think that's the problem. I think that a lot of the times you either you thread the needle with Death Shadow and you make it so they basically can't cast any spells, or they get out ahead of you and you have to deal damage to yourself when they kill you easily. I have lost on turn three and won on turn three against Burn more than any other deck put together. But I do think Burn is is Death Shadow is very favored against Burn. That being said, we lost it today. So, like, that's that's part of how magic works. Part of it is that with this five-color build, you can't necessarily put enough cards in your sideboard to help you uh, not lose life. And then what I'm trying out here, this dismember is not good in this matchup. Well, the, the key cards are Death Shadow and Stubborn Denial. For me, his best card is Eidolon. Um, Eidolon or like some of the sideboard cards like Path to Exile are really good but I think that it's more about how my opponent plays. My opponent wants to like deal nine, like six to nine points of burn to me between the end step and then their untap phase. They don't want to pace their burn spells. They want to lean on me to handcuff me so they, they can't cast their, like they can't cast their spells quickly. Because if Burn just, like, you know, paces themselves in the Death Shadows, is going to kill them. Gosh, this sucks. We could have easily, like... <sighs> we easily, like, could have stayed in our other game. Yeah. Yeah. The matchup's difficult. I think the matchup's difficult to play from both sides. Because, like, you have to know when to go pedal to the metal, and then you have to know when to play slow from both sides. Oh my gosh. I guess we will bring it back here and then hang on. So I'm thinking about playing a version of this deck that's like four cut that's four colors, but doesn't play it's four colors and it just boards a bunch of Snapcaster mages. That's a version of the deck that I'm pretty interested in. Like cutting these, cutting these, not having the white land, and then having some number of like Maybe like three Snapcaster Mages. You need something like a Maelstrom Pulse. Um, and you probably wouldn't play Team or Battle Rage in that version. And it would just make your mana base easier. I think that's my next evolution of Death Shadow that I'm going to give a try. I'm pretty sure that's, what, that's where we're going to be in the coming weeks or months or so.
I will be right back while our opponent is thinking about whether they want to play Magic or not. Yeah, it appears my opponent's not... Oh, there they go. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to take Lightning Helix because I don't want... To, I want them to actually cast this Lava Spike because it's going to allow me to play my Death Shadow. So, we'll get that. The version with Terminate is the newest or just a variation to try. I think they play Terminate now in general. Like... I think I, I think you have a big tension where if you want to like what do you think is better the blue spells or the red spells and I think the blue spells are better right now so I want two blue lands if the red spells become better then I'll play two red lands and more red spells if that makes sense I think the like the normal decks play like two team or battle rages or one team or battle rages and like two terminates, and they play Stomping Ground and Blood Crypt. If you want to play Watery Grave and Breeding Pool, I think you want to have like three Stubborn Denials in your main deck, and then more cards in the sideboard. Again, it doesn't look like my opponent's really going to play. Yeah, like if I was going to play this version, I would cut these and play like three Snapcasters. Um, maybe like two brutalities and a maelstrom pulse. I think maybe cut this pyroclasm too, and then try to fit some number of, um, some number of graveyard hate in here too. That's probably what I would do. I'll try that maybe sometime in the next, I don't know, month or so. I'm not even sure the next time that I'll be able to stream the challenge, so it might be a while. Okay, so they. Drew land, which kind of foils our plan a little bit. So I'm just going to traverse for a swamp, play the swamp, and then hold off here. So our opponent's got nine points of burn. So I've it's important to this should be the skull crack, not the lightning helix. Oh, that was a poor mistake from our opponent. So we're going to push this, then play a big old Death Shadow. All right, we did hit the land, which is going to be good at some point, not right now, though, because it might find us like Team or Battle Rage or a blue card. Okay, so... All right, so my opponent's last card is Skullcrack. So we're going to take it. Basically saves us a point of damage. And now we need to draw Team or Battle Rage, or, or my opponent has to miss for two draw steps, basically. They got to miss this one, and then they got to miss the next one. Okay, so they did not miss. So it's better here to get my blue land 
because I have three blue spells that buy me a turn, and I have two red spells to end the game on the spot, but I think I'd rather draw just statistically the better card. We found neither, so we are dead. So, that was rough. I mean, we mulliganed, but... But next time, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get a crack at it again. So, again, we board the same way we did in round two. Maybe it's right to go right for... Um, the black land there because with my blue land I have to fade a draw step I don't know alright this hand's good this hand appears to be a hand where we're probably going to go pedal to the metal and get two big death shadows quickly we're going to start by getting a water river here yeah I'm always going to play two or three stubs So here I'm looking to take like a creature because I don't have a lot of removal. So yeah, we'll just take this Monastery Swift Spear. Not going to cycle this until it's necessary. Man, did my opponent draw a creature? They drew a creature. Well, we found a land, which isn't bad because it's a pain-free way to play Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> now, I could have played a Death Shadow there, but it would have died to Lightning Bolt or Lightning Helix. Get in with this goif. If my opponent wants to point both... Oh, wow. What is this? It's going to like Searing Blaze. So we're going to go to 12. My opponent's got 9 points of burn. But if they send all that burn at me, they're probably dead. Because these Death Shadows will just get huge. Okay. And again, we're all right with this. Because it's damage that's not going at my head. And even if my opponent sends two of them at this, like, it's okay. I don't know why my opponent fetched a basic there untapped. But they suspend Rift Bolt, all right? And again, this is all right because it's not going at us. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, we did save ourselves a bunch of damage there, but now we still have to deal with this thing. The dismembers are right, actually, because we can cast it for f without any pain, but we don't have a clock. Yeah, I messed up here. This definitely is not what I should have done. My opponent's got a skull crack and a mountain in their hand. Three, six, we go to four. Yeah, I definitely didn't do this right. Yeah, this was bad. I should have been more aggressive with my Death Shadows. So if we lose this one, this one's my fault. Draw a card. At least we're drawing a stub, which is not bad, but we gotta kill this. Alright, we're just gonna keep attacking. I think my opponent's last card is a land. And we'll play this Street Wraith. Well, no, we won't play the Street Wraith. We'll hold the Street Wraith. We'll probably play it next turn. 
But now I just need my opponent to miss. Like I, I made, I did not do this right. So what did Foothills? Right. So we get out of that. So I think my opponent's last card. We'll just wait because he's got more, like a spell kills me. We can deal with the spell. If we like we can't deal with it because the street wraith. If he draws a creature, he draws a creature. Like, uh, we were he bricked, and then we drew the right one. Wow. There is no justice. So, like, there, I played that terribly. That was awful. That was probably the worst game that I've played all day. But we just got lucky because we got lucky. I think we took a questionable line for sure, exposing our death shadows like that. I'm going to have to play better in this round there. But sometimes you get lucky. Like, sometimes you make the mistakes and, you know, you aren't punished, which... If I'm being results-oriented, that's bad, because I should know that that's not how I win these games. My current opponent turned three to me in game one, and now game three. Oh, he's generating mana, yeah. We're going to ship... We're going to ship this... Well... This hand's pretty good. Well, we only have 17... So we have 17, we have 21 outs and two draws to find them. Let me think. Yeah. Well, a lot of them do that. A lot of them just try to make infinite mana because they think that the people are going to... Uh, yeah, they think that people will just concede to it, because a lot of people do. Let me just do some math here. I think I'm going to ship this hand. I think I can do better with six. Yeah, exactly. You should show, like, where, you know, he's making show a card. I'm going to ship this. I'm going to ship this as well. well. This is the best hand we've seen. So, put this on the bottom. This is a this is a type of hand where the only way we get there is we go pedal to the metal. Well, you're still like live for top eight. I think you have to win like it's a win and end for the last one to top eight. So like you're in a decent spot. What different decisions could you have made? Like I don't I don't necessarily see Oh, you just didn't kill it. Yeah. Well that's the first mistake. That's hard. I mean you know, I always kill the druid if I have the option to, even if it messes up my game plan. Cause I find their deck to be like so anemic that without the druid that like it's just how they're gonna lose. Come on, opponent. I had turned three blood stuff for three. Yeah. Opponent's just tanking. Come on. This sucks. So my opponent's like taking time out of like my life, but what are you going to do?
I agree. Once you get Ballista going, I would say that matchup is pretty solid. We'll be right back. Yeah, Ballista. Ballista is the same thing. It's similar like Liliana the Last Hope. Come on, this sucks. So I guess we'll go back to like the modern page here. Not really interested in this. I can't believe this is this expensive. This deck's so expensive. Um Yeah, I would like to play the Traverse version of this deck. Let's see. Oh, I would also like to play some like Nightfall decks. Yeah. It's just like the problem with the you just I think you always have to kill the druid. I think I'm gonna play this tapped. And then like because I don't really don't want to have to cycle this unless I need to. Oh no play from me or my opponent. Man, we shuffled that. I didn't play that matchup much. Yeah. A lot of the times, I think with that deck, it, it comes from just not knowing. All right, let's find a land. No land. We hit a land, this Tarma Wave is going to be huge. Okay, this Tarma Wave is not going to be huge anymore. All right, we're going to find... Because it's important to cast spells still here, because we might be able to hit like a Lightning Strike. Again, we're going to take the one that's most resource efficient. This one he has to do in his main phase. My opponent's got six points of burn. And that one also can hit Death Shadow. We might still win this game. If I draw a fetch land next turn and my opponent doesn't find a way to hurt my Death Shadow, we could win this game. I don't like these cards out of burn. I think that this card's just like... I mean, it would matter a lot. It'd be a lot better if I had Tarm away from play. Like... You know, if my Tarm Wives were... If I had another land and my Tarma Voice wouldn't play, I guess it'd be different, but. Let's see what our opponent's drawing. Goblin Guide. All right, well, that's good that we'll be able to push that. Hopefully we get an activation out of it, too. Yeah. So depending on what is on top of my library... A stub. So I actually think I'm going to take two from this. And then I'm going to push it. And then I'm going to hope my opponent doesn't have an answer to my Death Shadow. And I can at least get that into play to start to make things awkward. Because we know two out of three of their cards. I like, I don't mind Relic out of Burn. And like I said, I mean, all we need is a fetch land, and we should win this game, I think. If we draw, or or we draw a... Okay, so he bolts me. All right, so now all he's got to do is rip. Because he's got Lava Spike, which appears that he got it. 
All right, he drew an Eidolon, and I'm Eidolon locked. There's the land. Now we're in a lot of trouble. I actually don't even think I have an out to this. Yeah, we're we're just dead. Like I can't I don't even think that I have an out in my seventy five to this. Idle on it like I've idle on locked at two. Gosh, that's frustrating to lose to burn twice in a twice in a league. Because <sighs> we do this, this kills us. At any point, if we had a land there, we'd have been in such good shape. But that's going to be it for today's stream. We're, we're out of the money here. So I appreciate everybody coming and watching, and I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.